Hey, welcome back to the frying pan. I'm working on moving the clay down for one of, for like the edge of the, of the stove top thing. And then we're going to put like the ledge of the clay and go around and move like the gray down. I don't know why I'm using a pick for that part, but it works. So we got this. I'm going to go around the outside, but we also need to, wait, did I bring? I thought I took out like an extra bit of clay that I didn't do, but there was actually grass up here before. So it's all good. Um, yeah. So we'll put this extra ledge around. Hopefully I have enough clay. I think I do, because all I'm doing is moving it from where it was down one. So then when you look at it, it doesn't seem to like bombard the pan. It isn't there. Like, see, you can see it a little a bit better. You can see a little bit of the cobble, but we're going to put like some trap doors or something like that so it doesn't look too weird. You know, make it look like an, a cooktop. Some red clay, stuff like that. But we just got to put this clay back in, this regular clay, and then we can have the border doing pretty good. And also, I think I'll keep that part raised up, the grill top, because... Hmm. I've actually been debating that only because it blocks up the uh, the cobble and I don't really want the cobble to be shown but if we put like the red underneath it the red can be on the same level as this clay and so it will partially be shown if you look down from above or look up from below you know that kind of deal let's actually put one here I'm gonna put them all in the corners I should have enough hopefully I, mean, I can always just go scouring the oceans and such to get more. Okay, let's do all the corners. There, it's a good cooktop. I like it. So we get some red clay, some brown clay. I think this is brown. Yeah, red clay, brown clay. clay. I almost keep falling into this hole of the chickens. And then I'm thinking of putting a door to get into the iron farm because I do want to kind of redo these hoppers. I don't know if I'll do that now or if I'll do that later, but I do want to redo these hoppers so that I have multiple chests. Maybe have a sorting system though. Mm, yeah, maybe because there's a lot of poppies and I don't need the poppies. They can go get chucked off into lava, like put them lava here or something. I don't know. Or just have a bunch of chests just for poppies in case I ever need red dye. You never know when you need a red dye. And though there is bones. But I don't have a bone farm. Hmm. So yeah, that might be a thing. Because look at all these poppies. They're pretty much almost filling up this entire spot. Not quite. I do ditch them every once in a while. But they're still the ones that fill it up. So let's head over. Get some clay. We need brown clay and red clay. And I think I'll do a trapdoor thing. I was thinking of putting iron trapdoors on the top. To make it look like it's electric stove might work better with a frying pan. So let's test that out and see how it looks. Hopefully I have this clay. I'm actually surprised I have brown clay. I must have found it at the mesa because I don't have any cocoa beans. So if we don't have any more clay, oh, we have like one brown clay. I was gonna say, if we don't have any more clay, we're gonna have to take a trip back over to the mesa because I don't have a jungle, so I don't have any cocoa beans at all. But let's get some of this. Let's. We could actually use some of the red dye that's over at the iron farm. We have some of that though. Yeah, let's just use that red dye. Let me grab a crafting table. Then we need some iron trap doors. There's lots of iron over there. We're probably set. We don't need any iron trap doors. We could use them. leave those there. The other thing we do need is a door to get in. I'm thinking maybe a dark oak door. No. Oh. I can't put a door. There's, um, because there's doors above where the villagers are. I don't know if it's far enough away. I don't want to risk if it's not far enough away. So we can't exactly put a door. Let's just put a fence. We'll put, like, one fence. It'll be easy. Just in case I happen to stand there, go AFK, then things can't come by and eat my face, because, you know, that's always bad. Nobody, nobody wants their face eaten. Why would... No. Gotta have the safetiness of being under the iron farm, knowing that you're safe. I also have a shulker box full of dirt. Because even though I did dig all this out, 
to put the, the stove top in, I kind of want it deleting. So I don't want this first block of the frying pan to be floating. I kind of want this to be like a built up mountain here, just to this part, because I don't want to get rid of that, but I don't want it to float. And then put some around the side, but not completely cover up this bottom layer. Actually, what color is that? Is that... Oh, it's gray. Okay. And then this is brown? I guess so, because it went with the other brown. Okay, cool. So we'll put some dirt around, but I think right about here is where we'll have our our gate so we can get in. That'll be nice. So let's... Oh, I already had a crafting table here. Nice! Let's grab some poppies. Make up some red dye. And we need this terracotta. It's always weird to me that they renamed it from clay to terracotta. I will constantly call it clay because that's just who I am. But, yeah. So this one's going to go in a circle in between the brown. So let's just go around like this. Because it's going to look like um, the burner. Even though like the fire shows up on the actual part, like this part, that's what heats up. But, you know, they can have like a red ring around it to make it look like it's on fire. I knew I was going to fall in this hole. I called it so many times. Let's just board this up. It's kind of hard to build when there's a hole in the ground. Let's go up a little higher. Can get this pretty easily. So we need to go around like that. I think it's like a zigzag again. I'm not too sure. Uh, let's see. If this is brown right here, that would be brown here. So this is brown. That's brown. Okay. Red, red, red. Yeah, that's it. Keep going until I fall again. Oh, I don't fall. It gets to the edge. Okay, now I fall. Let's figure out where the brown goes over here. Not there. But all of that will be brown. So give me that red back. Please. Oh, come on. There. So that. Brown. Red, red. Does that seem the same? I hope it does. Probably could have just gone around the top like this. Um, yeah, that, that seems good. Go like that, go like that. Okay, and then we just need to put brown. We're going to get the trap doors um, and put them at the top here. Let's go down here and grab and make some trap doors. Though we don't have them everywhere. Like, I don't have the the brown everywhere the trapdoors are going to go. It should still work out. Those are bars. How do you make a trapdoor again? Is it like that? Yeah. I can never remember. We're going to need way more than that. Let's just do this. We'll make a bunch. I don't know what that placement was, but we're going to make a bunch. We're going to have all the trapdoors. Every trapdoor we could ever need. So these trapdoors will go around... And they'll be on top of the brown here. So that's like the cooktop surface. The only reason why it sound, it seems weird to me to have the pan like floating is because these trapdoors are here. So I was thinking of sinking down the brown, but I kind of want it raised up. I don't know, it just gives it something more. And this also makes it so things won't spawn. Though things will spawn on the red, but we can always put like lights in here so it looks like it's on a fire. You know, just have a few every once in a while. That'll help with spawns and it'll make it look like it's actually burning. Other thing I had an idea for is doing magma blocks. So I might test that out as well, just to see how it turns out. But for right now, I think it's pretty good with the torches and the red. Oh, that's some weird lighting. It's yellow there. It's like a storm is coming. A sandstorm. Let's go over to the Mesa. We haven't been to the Mesa in a long time. I almost wonder if maybe... Oh, you can't put torches on top of shoulders. That's new. Or maybe I never do that. Um, I'm actually wondering if maybe my spider farm is broken. I haven't gone to it since I updated to 1.13. I know the zombie farm was broken. I had to fix that. But is the spider farm broken as well? 
that'll be something interesting to know. But I will meet you guys over at the Mesa. We will fill this box full of stuffs. Probably get a few more different clays. We have just this much. So we definitely need brown. Probably get some other colors to see what we have. Got a little bit of yellow. Green I made up myself, but the others, we'll, we'll get some stuff. We'll see what's available. I forgot how long the journey to the Mesa is. But look, we're here. And I see no brown. But let's go check at the spider farm first. Seems like ever since I made the uh, guardian farm, I haven't been wanting to come over here to do any XP stuff. And also, I made the zombie farm too. So it's like I have the zombie farm, got the guardian farm. Why would I need to come over here? Though that box is pretty cool to see. Hopefully it's not broken. But most likely it is with all the 113 water updates. I think it might be. Let's check it out. Lots of squids around. I haven't seen any brown clay, but maybe there'll be some like higher up in the mountains. Because they tend to go in layers. So how's it going over here? Oh, I had an AFK area. <laughs> I forgot about that. I don't know if any of the water's broken. It seems pretty good. Uh, there's still stuff here? Wow, that's crazy. There's nothing there. I could leave it for a bit and see if anything spawns. And then we still have this spider spawner over here, which I haven't added in because it's still too far away. Because it doesn't work until you get about there. You can't get this one to work either. Hey, what's up? So I think it's working? I don't know. Oh, you fell down, dude. Luckily it works in a system where they just get pushed down by water and then they climb up themselves, so maybe that helps with the with not having a water elevator. Oh, there's a bed there. There's so many things. I remember this mine shaft. It had like nothing in it but gold and such. A lot of dark oak. I never see a dark oak mine shaft. That's something that just doesn't happen. Let's see, what do we have down here? Oh, lots of string. That's a good amount of string. Let's do this. Get rid of you. Any of your buddies want to come up here and say hi? Hello. Hello. Oh, they do a little bit. Oh, you bit back. Okay. Let's leave that for now. We are here to find clays, terracottas, all that good stuff. We are not here to fight spiders. Though they deserve to have their butts kicked all the time. Just for being poisonous little spiders. So, is there any brown anywhere? I'm thinking maybe over there? Ooh, yes, there is. Don't need much, but I want to get at least two stacks, three stacks, something like that. See what I can find. Hopefully it's enough to at least finish the stove. And then if I have anything else... I can use it for that. Of course, like, I shouldn't really use brown, because if I had cocoa beans, that would really help. But I've looked up the jungles, and they're very far away. And this is a very weird bridge. Non-existent bridge, as it were. Let's go... Game had me stop moving. Let's go over here, because there is some brown over this way that we can go grab. Ooh, and there's white and gray. I like how the white looks. Though when you take it away, it looks pink. That's very strange. Let's dig up all this. Get some brown. So one of the nice things about playing a single player world, you just have all these things to yourself. You don't have to fight for the sand in the desert or the 
the clay in the mesa. Though this is also large biomes, so there's tons and tons of mesa. It kind of goes on forever. I haven't really even run around the whole entire thing yet. How much we got? Uh, 12? I thought I've dug up more than that. Oh, it went to the first stack I had in my inventory. So we have a stack and a half almost. That's pretty good. Kind of want to get this gray as well and maybe the white. I don't have much gray. Probably don't have much white. Might get some regular stuff as well. Just fill up this whole entire shulker box right here. That'd probably be a good idea. And I'm glad I brought that bed with me because it is already getting dark. And I don't really want any bad things around here. So let me fill this all up. And I'll bring you back when I'm done. Back from the mesa. Got lots and lots of clay. Like a lot of brown. Um, a lot of white, some, well, I can just show you, some so, some white, some light gray, a little bit of regular, but look at all this brown. I just loaded it up on all the brown because it's going to be the one I use for everything over here. And then in case I need it in the future, it'll just be there. It'll be kind of nice to have. Let's just continue all this over and we can finish this up. It'll look fantastic. I'm kind of wondering if I should curve that corner or if that corner's too far, but no, it looks fine. I just gotta put all this in. I was trying to hold shift so that I don't fall, but I think I can run across this in a kind of a straight line and be okay. Well, almost. We'll grab that stuff in a second. I never got any more torches. So I'll have to go into the storage area and get some more torches. Uh, what are you doing up there? That should be all of it. Nice, nice. Okay, now we just gotta put some more trap doors down. Oh, not in there. I wonder if the trap doors even give it a good touch. Let's take a look from a distance. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. But do we even need it on both of them? Maybe it will just look fine on one of them. Though from right here, I kind of like it on both. So let's continue that. But we're going to need a lot more iron. Yeah, lots more iron. Let's go down and grab all of this iron. Need a little teeny bit more. Well, let's just take all that. Okay, so trap doors. If I run out, maybe I'll revise on where they should go. I think I will run out, but I also have more inside my storage area because I take that, you know, the iron once in a while and I go and I make it into blocks and then I hang on to it. So it kind of works out. It doesn't get too backed up. But with the new system of, you know, storage, maybe it won't have that happen. And we might actually have enough. Watch, I'm going to be like one short. Oh, no. Now we good. I just keep misplacing them. But we good. Sweet. We need to put some torches around. Let's grab this. The only thing left to do is put a bunch of dirt. And the storage system. I kind of want to figure out how I want this to look and where things out where I want them to be in this room. And I also need to close up the golems from falling for a little teeny bit. But I'm gonna leave this for now. This might be a thing I do in a live stream. So if you ever want to see me work on that, check out the streams on Tuesdays. The link is in the description box. But let's go and put a bunch of dirt down all this away. Too much can't put shulker boxes inside shulker boxes. That'd be kind of nice. Let's do this. Let's add like a little teeny bit of a ledge. I know I dug all of this out, but I wasn't too sure how big of a of a stovetop I would want. So that is why. Plus it was fun to just dig with an efficiency 5 shovel with a beacon because it's always so fun. 
and get that speedy dig. It's the best thing ever. Don't want to cover up too much of the cook top area, but I don't want the stone to show. So let's just cover up a bunch of stone. This I probably will change to grass. And I think I might put some benches, maybe some like little umbrellas or even a, a stand or two to make it look like it's a, uh, what's it called? Like a restaurant? I don't know. This side over here though, I want it to build up to this. So we got to build up a lot of what we took out. I'm just going to do it in a bunch of layers. Uh, let's do that. I could make it hollow, but I don't want any mobs to spawn inside here. Because we've got to make sure that nothing knocks over that sign. We've got to keep we got to keep the sign, guys. We've got to keep the welcome to the frying pan sign. That's from the very first episode. Before it even got started. First thing you all saw. If you don't remember it, go back and check it out. It was short, sweet, pretty nice. Good little mini mini, like almost like a pilot episode. Let's build up this and then we can fill the rest in. So, how is that? Do I want to leave this little teeny gap? Maybe I could put like a river. Ooh, that'd be nice. It's also getting dark. I'm rushing the clock here. I just want to get the, the front facade done. And then we can fill the back in later. You know, that would be good. And then... I'm not there. And then we can go from here. And we can go out like this. Maybe do a little teeny bit of this. Yeah. That's pretty good so far. Make it look like the frying pan's there. And then have it go just a little bit over to here. I don't want it to cover the pan, but it can like... Maybe we can have like a ridge that meets up to it. Let's see, like... That maybe? Yeah, that'll be good. So it matches up with this side, but you're gonna see this decoration on the inside. So we don't want to, we don't want to get rid of it because it'll just look weird on the inside. Let's fill all that part in. You know that looks pretty good. I know I said I wasn't gonna leave it hollow, but I'm just trying to do the outside here. I really should go sleep, because there's some bad stuff around, but nothing is bothering me yet. I just don't want anything to come up and explode that sign. That would be bad. There's some baddies right over there, though. A few spiders. Oh, I almost hit that horse. And a creeper. I can't aim. There we go. Got him good. Nothing's coming for me yet, though, so that's good. Let's actually fill this part in. Oh, see, like, there's this whole area of dirt. Or not dirt, but stone. Yeah. Fill this in. This is, like, extra stuff I dug out, and then I realized I didn't need to dig it out. So it's good. Uh, we could go like that. It doesn't need. It doesn't need to meet up completely with the pan. Though if we do this, we need to kind of put clay right here because that doesn't match up right. I put the clay away, so we're gonna have to get more clay. Do this. There. That's kind of good. It looks kind of weird in a way kind of hard to get like the natural look of things. I mean, there's nothing natural in this game because it's a block placing game. But that's pretty good. Oh, there's a zombie friend coming for us. So let me go over and grab this bed, find a place to sleep, and then we'll come back in the day and do a little teeny bit more of the dirt placing. I keep expecting the dirt in my inventory to run out because of all the dirt I'm putting back, but I just looked and there's like a bunch. So I can see why it's not. Um, actually, let's get rid of those two. Get rid of this one. This is where we're going to put our river. I think I think a river would be really cool here. Just have it like, you could have a lake over here and then have it 
go down or up and then down and such to some lake over here. I think that that might be pretty cool. I'm just gonna fill in the rest of this. Let's do like that. And then all the grass should spread back. Let's get rid of that one. It's gonna kind of be like a steep hill right here. Though we could just get rid of some of this. So the hill doesn't completely cover up the cooking area. It just, you know, it's just a little teeny bit. I kind of want to expand this out. So then I can expand this out. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then we got the, the sign right there. I like it. Kind of want to get rid of these two. Maybe a few of these. Let me get my shovel. Actually, it's right there. I don't want it to be like a big area up here. It's, wait, what kind of... The dirt looks like coarse dirt. It has all those little rocks in it. Is that a new texture thing? I don't know. It looked interesting. We heard a little bit of that. Shaping of the hillsides are very complicated. Go out a little teeny bit more here. Like, you don't want it to look blocky, but it's kind of hard to make it not look blocky when you're in a block world. I know I mentioned before, but the whole idea of, like, organic builds, it doesn't make any sense to me, because you're playing a computer game, there's nothing organic about this, but that's just always silly to me. But making it kind of look not derpy, I guess, or make it look good, is what I'm going for. Uh... That should maybe do it. Maybe we should put like some rock formations in here. That'd be some good decorative kind of things. Uh, I just kind of put that, took care of, you know, put that up, took it down, put it back up again. But it happens. It happens. Things happen. So waterfall will go about here. Little river. Maybe make it continue. I don't know. Maybe make it look like there's two waterfalls and there's some infinite spring that just springs up like right in the middle of it. I'm not too sure. We will look at this later. We will figure this stuff out. But for now, it looks kind of cool. I like the hill. I kind of maybe want to put like a little bit of some dirt mounds against the, you know, the cooking area. Just so it doesn't look like... It, I want to make it look like it was built into the earth. Like... People decided to stop here and they're like, hey, I'm going to build a stovetop here and just have a random frying pan on it. And everyone will wonder, what is the meaning of the pan? Why? Why a pan? I don't get it. But we will add extra dirt stuff and stuff. All the stuff. Yeah. I think this is pretty good. Let's put like that. And then down here we will have... Um, Whole iron collection area, maybe a passageway down to these chickens. I don't even know how well these chickens are doing. Ooh, they're doing good. There's a few that aren't getting cooked, but there's a few that are getting cooked. So it works out pretty well. I'm gonna actually take some of that. Thank you. And then we can have like a pathway here, because there's always this pathway out. Hey, horse. And that's it. Like, this pan, it's slowly, slowly getting decorated. I still don't have enough torches. Need to get more torches. But I like this pan. Look at all the lava. It's turning out good. We got our sign. Welcome to the frying pan. Here's the frying pan. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you have any ideas for like decorative kind of ideas, things down here, I think I'll put a lake like right around there. Maybe some benches. Maybe some umbrella thingies. Make it look like some weird resort. Maybe some barbecues. You know, you could do like a barbecue with you could get an iron plate on a post and a slab or something, but an iron trap door on there. I think it makes a barbecue. I'll have to look into that. But I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.